Hey everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Review. You know what I'm going to say. Let's see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, this is one that Dorf sent me. Uh, this is Three Skulls Ale. Hop the Plank IPA. I mean, uh, the, the, the label is just really good. I like the skulls on there. The, the green writing on there looks pretty good. Got the eye patch on the skull. Nice, nice label. This comes from the Baron Brewing out of Seattle, Washington. It's an American IPA. Coming in at 7% ABV, and it is in the bomber at a 22 ounce. Uh, year round serving from these guys. I can't get this beer out here on the East Coast, so uh, I appreciate Dorf sending it to you. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, food pairings cuisine would be the curry and the Thai. The cheeses are peppery, Monterey, Pepper Jack, Sharp. All your more pungent cheeses with the IPAs, even uh, them burger and Gorgonzola. So, uh, all your all your your real strong cheeses go well with this beer. Uh, the fish for this is poultry, fish, shellfish, salmon, grilled meat, game, uh, beef. Uh, all your all your stronger dish, all your stronger meats. Uh, the beer is not recommended for extended salaries. Even though it's a seven percent beer, it will lose its hoppiness over time. And uh, I don't think it actually has a date on the label or anything here of when it was put in there or anything. Uh, I don't think it's etched on the bottle anywhere, uh, like Stone does there. It's put an etching on it, which is virtually impossible to see when the bottle's got condensation or it's cold. I mean, once it's once it's empty, yeah, you can see the label on it once it's dried out. But anyway, I'm flapping my gums. Let me get the top off this thing and see what it's about. The glass today is a pint glass. You could use the Becker, the Stein, the Mug, Seidel, about anything you want to pour it in. So just pour it into something. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a head on it. Alright, with a semi-aggressive end pour there, we was able to generate a good finger head on that one. Looks pretty good in the glass. Over to the light, uh, fairly clear. I mean, it's got just a little bit of haze in there, and that may be chill haze. So, uh, don't think it's bottle conditioned or anything, so we'll, we'll get a nose on it and see what we got. I'm getting a little bit of citrusy hops. Not the normal north or normal west coast uh, hop style with the big the big piney citrusy. This is more of a more of an earthy earthy citrus would be I mean earthy hop would be. Getting just a little bit of mo it doesn't have a big nose on it. Uh, well we still got about a half a finger of head. Maybe just a little grapefruit, not a whole lot. It's more citrusy. More citrusy than anything else. So, guys, cheers. Very bitter hop. I don't know what hops they use on this, but... More of an earthy hop. I mean, it's a, not a typical IPA. I mean, definitely not a typical IPA. Uh, I don't even know if I would classify it as an IPA. It's more, more in a, more of a bitter pale ale. But an IPA. Not getting the IPA qualities on that. If I, if I was blindfolded, I wouldn't call this an IPA. A 
I'm getting more malt than hops on this one. So it's right out of the fridge. We'll let it warm up, and uh, uh, it's about 40 degrees. We'll let it warm up and sip on it, and see what we end up with. So be right back. We'll do that final chug, guys. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I got just a little bit left in the glass here. Uh, I mean, this is this is a miss as far as I'm concerned on the IPAs. Uh, uh, not a definitely not a West Coast style, not even an East Coast style. It's more, it's got more hop bitterness than it does hop aroma or hop flavorings or anything. I mean, it's just not there on the nose. It, I've had, like I said, I've had pale ales that were more, that were more hoppier than this, but uh, just not doing it. Final chug, guys. I mean, I think it's definitely a misre misrepresentation of what the style is supposed to be on for this beer. It's not an IPA. I mean, you might get away with a uh, with a weak pale ale on this one, but the but the alcohol is there. It's seven percent. I mean, um, I mean, it's nothing bad. I mean, it just ha doesn't have anything that stands out to to make me be impressed with this beer. Uh, Dork, I appreciate you sending it to me, but I believe I'm going to have to give this one a, uh, a 4 on the scale. It's a C beer, as far as I'm concerned. A rate beer has this a 40 overall and a 77 in the style. And Beer Advocate has a C on this one, and I agree with that. It's it's basically an average beer. It's uh, not one I seek out, but if I would have seen it in a store, I would have picked it up because the, the label is damn cool. So <laughs> I'm going to try to get this label off and save it because I'm so impressed. I like that label on it. So, Dorf, I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, it just wasn't a top notch beer, though. And, guys, if you've had this beer, if you're on the West Coast or, or they, they, they ship, ship this beer or distribute it to uh, your area. Uh, let me know if you've had it and what you think of it. And guys, always rate, comment, subscribe, and come on back tomorrow. We'll see what's in the fridge. See you then.